Welcome. Y'all ready? It's going down. Ladies. Is she the new? Is she the truth? Or is it false? Our lashes, lip gloss. How much did that cost? Ain't no BS boss. Left being employed, she got a show. Floss, dentistry, officer in the streets, local or industry. Ghana or Italy, Bishop or Kennedy, her drive infinity. You feeling me? He should add Q45, Ninja, it's finna be. On like a double OTD in front of your PC. We running your TVs, pouring up weekly. Beauty tips and help if you don't watch it for celebs, watch it for your damn self. She got a show. Like that. Akeisha Lockhart here for She's Got a Show, and I'm standing next to the beautiful Grammy award winning songwriter and singer Estelle. Estelle, thank you so much for taking time to talk to me. I want to ask you about your single that you have out right now Conqueror. Very powerful, beautiful song. It kind of seems like to me that you're going in a different direction than you were with your last album, because there was a lot of heartbreak and some, some breakup thing going on. So can you kind of talk about the direction that your music is going in and talk about your single? Oh, my goodness. Well, first of all, my single uh, is it's an amazing record. Um, Conqueror is a record that kind of found its way to me. I say these records kind of find their way to you. And it, was, it just felt big, it felt worldly, and it felt like I think what a lot of people um, want to hear. You know, it started off wonderfully. A lot of people are gravitating towards it. We have it in a film uh, upcoming called Addicted, which is pretty awesome. I'm really excited about that. Um, it comes out in October. So it's like one of the, the main songs that comes up in, in the film a few times and, you know, does its thing. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but people are starting to really feel it and understand um, what the whole point of this True Romance album is. To me, I was in a, a very sad space um, when I wrote All of Me. And I didn't want to stay there or jump from that to being extremely happy because no one does that in real life. No one says, like, I'm pissed. No, I'm just happy. You know, no one lives like that. So to me, I wanted to do something that felt real and exactly what we were dealing with, you know? You all need to go out, support Estelle, get that album because she's doing her thing. I'm coming out with my talk show, Estelle. She's got a show. It's going to be launched at the end of the summer. Thank you. And there's a lot of people out there that follow me and, and that are they're watching. And you have made it. You have done some incredible things in your career. Can you give all those dreamers out there advice? If you have a blueprint, some steps to take to success, because they're going through a lot and it may be rough. Can you give us some insight on what those dreamers out there, including myself, can do? I think um, what it is is belief beyond belief. Um, belief beyond what you can see and execution. Is this, those are two very important things. One, you have to believe it. One, you have to really think this is what think and say it every single day. This is what I'm here for. This is what I'm here to do, and I have work to do. You know, give yourself tasks. Give yourself, set yourself a bunch of things you have to accomplish every day. That's one. That's the basic part. But the other side of it is just basically making sure it gets done. You know, and and having maybe because you won't have people around you 24/7 that believe in you or believe in your way of doing it. That that's cool. That's fine. You're going to come into those people. Expect it, accept it, roll with it, and, or roll over it, I should say, and do what you have to do. You know, I think if you are convicted and you know exactly who you are and what you want to be, there's really nothing that can stop you. If you don't quite know what you are and what you want to be, figure those two things out first because it makes it a hell of a lot easier, <laughs> I promise you. But, it, you know, like, it's get to know yourself, take the time and get to know yourself, do what you have to do in the interim to get by. But you know, get to your dreams. You're in Chicago, beautiful Chicago. I know you're no stranger, but talk about what do you like to do when you come to the city, to Chi-Town? Oh my goodness. Okay, there's like a few things I do standardly. So I go to Harold's, um, I get, we go to Lawrence's, we have Garrett's, and I'm on Michigan Air. <laughs> Just standard on you know on the on the mile, but like we I I walk around. This is almost kind of like like my third home, um, between here New York London. It's like I feel like oh I'm, you know I'm good. I'm in the, I'm in the city. I know what I'm doing. I know what the streets look like. I know where I'm going. And I have a lot of people that I love here, so it's it's always good vibes. So I just yeah we just go have fun. We hang out. You know we here. What other things are in the making? What can we look out from you for you? 
We have, well, the album comes out, True Romance comes out November 4th, which I'm really excited about. It takes me a minute, but when I get it, it's done. <laughs> um, so November 4th for True Romance, I have a scarf line, which I'm wearing now, called Soiree, which we're relaunching and doing more styles and more designs and things like that. I'm actually the lead character, one of the lead characters on a cartoon called Steven Universe, which is on Cartoon Network on Mondays, every Monday night at 8 p.m. We just got renewed for our second season, so yay! Shout out to Rebecca Sugar and the whole team. But it's a fun, and it's a really good, like, smart cartoon. To, and it's not just uh, you know like a oh pretty dumb or pretty vulgar. It's actually smart and you know and there's character development and all that good stuff that people in the cartoon world are really excited about. Car- character development, how about that? Um, but it's you know it's a really good cartoon. It's by a bunch of really young, amazing, talented people. So I'm excited to be on it, you know, and to you know that there you know just to be involved with it. So yeah, those are the three things that's happening right now. Um, we're going on the road later this year as well when the album comes out, so look out for it. You can go to my website, EstelleDarlings.com, and check me out for all things Estelle. And my, web, my Twitter and my Instagram is Instagram's the same. I can't speak today. <laughs> no, my Twitter and my Instagram are the same, at EstelleDarlings, and the website too, .com. So, yeah, we're all here. We're here. Well, very nice. Well, thank you, Estelle, so much for your time. I know you're a busy, busy, busy woman. So for She's Got a Show, I'm Akeisha Lockhart. Who are you? I'm Estelle. Just gotta show. Just gotta show. Just gotta show.